classes. Um, I wanted to invite everyone to come to the front. Today's going to be a very different chapel, and um, we really want you guys just to, to get closer and to hear from our speakers this morning. It's going to be really chill, but really wonderful also. But um, we're excited to worship with you guys one more time as a MacU family. And um, yeah, I'll open up in prayer, and then we'll get to worship. God, thank you so much for this year in this room. You have spoken to so, into so many lives this year, Lord. And I, I pray that um, even if everyone doesn't remember every single message or every song we've done in here, that you have planted seeds in all of us. And we are just trusting that the speakers that you spoke through this semester and this whole year will make an eternal impact on everyone in this room, whether we know it or not. Lord, we pray for our last chapel, that we can continue to celebrate your goodness, we can celebrate um, this year, and that we can just worship you. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen. All right, we invite you guys to stand up. Darkness tries to roll over my bones When sorrow comes to steal the joy I own When brokenness and pain is all I know Oh, I won't be shaken No, I won't be shaken My fear doesn't stand a chance when stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. Shame no longer has a place to hide. I am not a captive to the light. I'm not afraid to leave my past behind. No, I won't be shaken. No, I won't be shaken. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. about that power this morning hey there's power that can break off every day there's power that can empty out a grave there's resurrection power that can save there's power
we give him praise this morning? Amen. Hallelujah.
thank you so much that you are our firm foundation, Lord, that it doesn't matter what's happening around us, Lord, but we can always stand strong on you, Jesus. Thank you that you care about us. Thank you that you love us, Lord, and just give us the strength to live for you every day. And just thank you for the semester that we've had, the school year that we've had, Lord, and just be with us as we're, be with us as it's coming to a close, Lord, and a lot of us are moving into the next season of our life, Lord. We love you, we praise you, we thank you. It's in your name I pray, amen. Well, good morning, evangels. It's great to be together in our final chapel of this academic year. And it's hard to believe that it seems like just yesterday we were coming together for our first chapel of this academic year. You'll remember uh, this, this past August how I shared with you why we're here. We're here to have a greater encounter with God, a greater engagement in learning, a greater awareness of global and local issues, and a greater expression of doing good. I believe we've done all four of those this year. And I want to just say a few special words of thanks to people who have made so many of these things possible. We've had an incredible year of worshiping together, and I know there are probably almost 50 people who are a part of the, the worship team, whether it's musicians, instrumentalists, vocalists, our sound and video team. They do an incredible job, and I hope you'll take a moment to join me in saying thank you to all of the people who are part of our worship team. I want to also want to say a special word of thanks to our faculty who lead us. Uh, many of them are still wrapping up projects and tests. I see a few back there, uh, but we're going to have fun celebrating, of course, tomorrow. And uh, if you're a faculty member, would you just stand so we could recognize you for just a moment? I have been so impressed with the creativity, with the energy, and the enthusiasm of our faculty this year. We've had a great year, and we're so grateful to you. I also want to say a word of thanks to our staff who do an incredible job leading us everywhere from the business office to the cafeteria, from the athletic department to the fa facility and grounds, our enrollment and admissions teams, the list goes on and on. We truly have an amazing group and they are so we are so blessed. If you're a staff member, would you stand? <laughs> Wonderful. We are so grateful for you. Tomorrow's going to be a really special day. I'm really excited to welcome family and friends from all across the world. It's going to be great. If you are a senior or if you are graduating from an undergraduate or graduate degree, tomorrow is all about you. Uh, but I'd like for you to stand so we could recognize you this morning. Would all those who are graduating tomorrow please stand? Wow. Fantastic. We are going to uh, miss you greatly. I know some of you will stay and continue in other degrees. Some of you are going out into uh, jobs, others into other programs. Uh, we're going to pray for you before the end of our service today, but I just am so proud, so blessed uh, to have had you here on this campus and excited for all the ways that you are prepared to go and do great things for God in his kingdom. This morning, we wanted to take just a few moments to have some of our seniors uh, come and offer some words of inspiration and some words of encouragement uh, to our chapel, to all those who are here in person, and to all of you who are joining us online. We're so glad to have you with us today. We've asked four seniors to come and just share a few uh, thoughts with us, and we're going to begin with Chloe Mitchell. Chloe's on the volleyball team. She's just been so much fun to watch these past few years as she's been a leader on our team. Uh, she's from Norman. She majored in communication and media and ethics and plans to go into her family business working at Mitchell's Jewelry. She just got back from a trip in Belgium, and she's got a really great summer ahead. What date is the wedding? August the 5th. She will be getting married. And uh, Chloe's just been an incredible part of our campus and, uh, and of our community. And so, Chloe, will you just come and lead us and share some words of inspiration and encouragement? Let's welcome Chloe Mitchell. transferred here my junior year and I'm super fortunate to have had two years at MACU. Um, I would say the most important thing for me here was the relationships. I mean, like everyone says, we all love President Greenwald and I think it's very, very rare to 
go to a college and see a president on the second row of every single volleyball game, basketball game, soccer game. I just think how President Greenwald has poured his family and his heart into this school is so admirable. Um, you know, and very few schools can say their president has invited them over for, for a pool party. So, you know, just stuff like that. I've really loved that aspect of MacU. Um, earlier this year, he mentioned I'm getting married. So, <laughs> um, it was October 20th, and Holly, our volleyball coach, had moved our practice schedule around for the week. And I didn't really think anything of it. She told us it was to go watch her son Jason play. So I was like, okay, whatever. So we moved practice off campus. It was at like two to four, which normally we practice six to eight every night. So just something a little different. Well, little did I know my fiance had worked it out with Holly uh, to move practice so that he could propose that evening. So that was just something like super special to me. And of course I had no idea. Um, and then later after he proposed, uh, the whole team was at my engagement party <laughs> waiting to celebrate us. So just, I mean, that's just something you're not going to get at a bigger school. Um, so I'm just super, you know, thankful to have been at MACU for just little moments like that. Um, <clears throat> as I said, I've only been here two years, and I am a fully online student this semester. So one thing that I've really loved about MACU is the flexibility of a schedule. So I'm going to work at Mitchell's Jewelry. Uh, it's my family business. And I was able to actually get college credit from doing an internship there this semester and last semester. So I was able to kind of get a head start on my future by just being in the jewelry store, getting you know that hands-on experience. And again, I just think that's something that you're not gonna get at other schools. Um, and then just as for like my advice for younger students, I would say my most memorable moments would have to be like when I did something for others. So in the summer, I volunteer at a foster kids camp called Royal Family Kids Camp. And these kids are age seven to 11 and they're all, you know, they've all been victims of abuse, whether, um, you know, just they are all members of the DHS system. So they've gone through things that you can't imagine. And I've been super fortunate to go and be a counselor for these kids. And I would just have to say, like, there's nothing that can give you a better feeling than doing something for others. So that would be my word of advice is go out every day and do what you can to make a difference because I'd say the most memorable moments are when you're making a difference in someone else's life. Well done. Thank you, we're sure proud of you. Chloe, we are so proud of you and uh, look forward to celebrating with you and uh, just a really tremendous uh, career and tremendous uh, to have you on our campus. Thank you so very much. Uh, David is uh, saying this morning, wasn't he fantastic? Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know if you remember, but you actually sang at the first chapel that I attended last year when I was being uh, interviewed and I still remember just hearing your voice and just hearing, seeing you worship and lead. Wow. Thank you so much for your heart, brother. Uh, he is from England. You know, he got to spend a little extra time there this, this season. Uh, he struggled to get back, wasn't it? We're glad you're here. Uh, but he's a biology major, planning to go on to graduate school to specialize in human physiology and maybe nutrition. Now, I'm told a fun fact about David is that he can do the splits. Is that, is that true? Okay. That's impressive. Uh, David, we are so honored to have you on our campus. It's been such a blessing. Come and share with us some words of inspiration and encouragement. Thank you for the introduction. I appreciate it. Um, as he said, my name's David. David Onina. David Charles Michael Onina That's my full name, in case I don't want it to know. Um, I'm from Nottingham, England, so Robin Hood country. If anyone right. knows Robin Hood. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and as he said, I'm a biology major. I transferred here my junior year, um, so I think COVID affected everyone in this room, but like COVID was kind of the reason I'm here. Um, at my old school, my sophomore year, they like cut all the athletics programs, which kind of sucked because I had like good friends and whatnot. Yeah. Um, so in my search for another school, Matthew gave me a pretty good offer, so I ended up coming here. Um, and I'm I'm kind of glad I did because. 
uh, here is kind of, uh, it's a special place. It's a special place in that the faculty and the staff get to know you on such a like intimate basis. You know, the small class sizes, it's pretty cool uh, compared to a bigger school where you kind of get lost, lost in the source and maybe. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, that was a, that was a bad joke. Um, yeah, but it's cool to know your professors on a personal level. Like, I can think of some examples, like Miss Bland. I don't know if you guys know Mrs. Bland, but she's never, ever taught me. I've never had an English class with Miss Bland. I've never sat in one of her classes before, but just getting to know her in the lunch hall um, got me to, well, she's kind of, sorry. So getting to know her in the lunch hall was uh, really cool because she's genuinely, like, interested in people and interested in, like, international students, which is really cool. She, like, asked about my heritage, where my family's from, and I don't think you get that experience uh, in, a, in a big school. I've got a shout out Coach G in the back, um, great guy. Uh, uh, yeah, just um, trying to get to know his players on a like, closer, intimate level, I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, President Greenwald, I appreciate you too. It's good to see like your impact on, on campus, like coming in the first year, because President Fawzard was, was, was my guy. Yes. I really like President Fawzard, but you, I think, you're, you're good stepping in, and I think you're going to be really good for this school. So I appreciate you. Um, I wrote my things down here, so I didn't forget. Uh, yeah, one of the best things about MacQ also was uh, meeting my friendship group. So I just like to shout out my friends real quick. Shout out Yuvi, my roommate over there. He's in there. Uh, shout out Annika, Mercy, Kylie. Uh, Makai's not in here. Uh, Mike, too. Uh, Sav, where's Sav? Um, she's not in here. But anyway, those are like my really like close-knit friends. I just appreciate this place that I got to meet them here. Um, and one of uh, my special word of advice uh, for students studying, um, it's sometimes you're your own worst enemy. Uh, a situation may not be all that bad, but it may just be you that needs to change. So oftentimes we come in uh, in different scenarios that may not be ideal and we think, okay, th the world's against me, the world sucks, you know. Gosh, like, woe is me. But oftentimes, if we really do some, like, self-inventory, we are the people who need to be the catalyst for our own change. So um, if anyone hates MacQ, it's actually a pretty good school. I've been to a different school. This place is pretty good. If you hate it right now, you know, just check yourself, too, because we have a lot of resources here. Like, we have a, a bunch of resources. We have good professors. There's money coming into the school, I think, so... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> things, <laughs> things are probably going to look up. So, yeah, make the most out of the opportunity because it's not, it's not all that bad. It's not doom and gloom. Yeah, thank you. Well done. Thank you. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. Candy Roberts is uh, from Chickasha. She's an elementary ed major. Uh, she's already teaching, I believe, at Wheeler Middle School as a math and science teacher. And a fun fact, she says she's going to graduate with no debt. So how, how awesome is that? Uh, but we have an incredible education department, and I'm excited for teachers who are going out to change the lives of young people. So Candy, come talk to us. Hi. Hi. This is awkward. Um, so yeah. Um, Graduating this year, that's so exciting. Um, as far as what I love about MACU, um, MACU is so small, and I love that it's so small. And everybody says that, and that is kind of like, okay, we get it, it's small. Um, but I feel like I'm talking fast, forgive me, please. But I love that MACU is so small because I can talk to my professors like they're real people. They're not people on a pedestal or anything crazy like that. Like I can just be like, Vicki, I don't know what I'm doing. And she'll be like, okay, Candy, like, I got you. Um, and that's just what I love about MACU. Um, and yeah, and I feel like in every place in MACU, there's always a safe adult for me, which is a big deal because I just love that. So like, I know that if I need something in the business office, Tiffany would be the mama for me to put me in my place that you shouldn't do this or you should do this with this finance. And I love that. And I can also walk into Marcina's office and she'll give me a big old hug and say, hi, Candy Rain. Um, and, but I just, I love that about MacU. Um, something else I love about MacU, I wrote all this down, please forgive me, I didn't, yeah. Hey, but there's not a lot of people in here, I was really nervous about that. Um, anyways, so, um, 
Oh, advice, that's the next one. Uh, live a little, be here now. Um, take advantage of the free counseling centers that we have here, 100%. Um, when you're in college, you're in this weird place where you're becoming your own adult, which is really awkward, um, and all the changes and things. So 100%, take advantage of that. Um, and then don't be scared to just do you. Um, go on the mission trips, go on camp teams, go do the things, do it all. Um, and... Some people come in and out of your life, um, but, 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 um, you're, you're here in college right now to focus on you, and that needs to be one of your top priorities, and why, yes, I love that you love your family, and I love that you love all your people, but right now you're in college to get this degree, and this degree is, should be one of your top things, so get that degree, baby. Um, it's only four years, and four years is what seems forever, but probably one of the best advice I've ever been given through one of Mackey Counseling Services was, hey girl, um, I was during final season, and I was like freaking out like I'm sure all of you guys were or are recently, um, like, oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm going to do, I can't do this, um, just get me out of here, and she was like, Candace Roberts, and I was like, oh, I'm in trouble, she's using my name, um, but <laughs> she was like, you need to try your best, and if you try your best and you fail, then you can drop out. But if you try your best and you pass, then you got to get over yourself and keep going. And I was like, okay, she didn't say it like that. That's just kind of how I interpreted it. Um, anyways, um, but so I tried my best and then I passed. And that was like sophomore year. And I was like, okay, if I just keep on with that mindset of just like trying my best and if I fail, then okay. But if I don't, then like I got to keep going. Um, so yeah, that was, that's really all I got to say, I think. So yeah, he he he. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Proud of you. I am so proud that we're preparing people to go out and to uh, bless the lives of others, whether it's in a church or in a school, whether it's in a business, whether it's in a nonprofit or here in the university. And it's just fun to hear these stories today. Our final one is from Marley Greaves, who's a soccer player. He's his hometown. Is this correct? Aruka? Did I say that correct? Okay. All right, he's a business administration and ethics major, planning to do his master's degree next. If he were to speak to people in his own country speak, I think we would have a hard time understanding it, wouldn't we? Maybe you'll give us a little taste of that. Come on up and share some inspiration and encouragement. Thank you, brother. Hello, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry for my voice. I had a rough couple of weeks, you could say. I just want to say my favorite thing about Mark Hugh is definitely the people, as Chloe said and as David said, like the faculty is love. That's one word I could put. Um, I'm being vulnerable here. Um, I had a point in time where earlier this year, my brother passed and like, I didn't know how to get through it, like, I didn't even know. But God sent the faculty members to comfort me. They came to my dorms, and, like, it was really nice. And I didn't know what I would do without them. Um, another thing I would say is that, like, honestly, once you, like, you're genuine in your connections and your relationships, like, they will pour into you so much that you don't even know, you know? Um, I'd like to say thank you to the faculty, like faculty staff for being there for me. Um, I remember I came to Dr. D saying, hey, Dr. D, I need my license. And I kid you not, like, I feel that driver's session three times. <laughs> hey, I'm, I, was, I was not about to say my real friends know the real answer. But <laughs> and yeah, and Dr. D woke up 5 a.m., Every time I asked him, cried me, you see how it was, I was like, you got to go again, <laughs> you know, but like the patience, the love that they keep pointing to us, like that's something I really appreciate and wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be nice if they got a raise, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I want to say a big shout out to Dr. A. Mark. I love you. Like my first semester here. Um, I'm a Caribbean boy, island boy, and I came here, it was a total culture shock. I came from a Juco, I was a star player, I came here, I was a bench player, and like, I was going through a depressing state in my life, my first month, 
And I think God sent Pastor Matt, and then he sent Dr. A. Mark later on to like comfort me and tell me there are bigger things in store for me. And that what really got me together and really that's when I decided to like let myself go and connect, you know. Advice that I'll give people, the younger students, is like connect more. A lot of us think that when we come to this university, we have to act a certain way so we don't get in trouble or we don't raise questions and whatnot. But like come as you are, be respectful, but come as you are. The faculty accept you like I tell my faculty, like, the close faculty that I'm close to, all my problems, and, like, they helped me through it, you know? Just the other day, I told Dr. Emma, I lost my uh, social security card. She was like, retrace your steps. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But, yeah, another thing I advise you guys to do is, like, internships from early on. I'm a senior now, and, like, something I wish i do was earlier internships. Um, connecting more, getting out to, outside of campus, that kind of good stuff. Um, big shout out to Shante for giving me that human resource internship, you know. I know you haven't seen me in a while, girl, but I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, once again, I just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to be myself and loving me unconditionally, you know. Love you guys. Well done. Thank you, brother. You know, these four students are an incredible representation of our university, and we're here for students. That's who, who we s exist to serve. And I'm so proud of these four who have represented us so well just in sharing your story. And it seems to me one of the themes that just resonates from today as it does every day is that we build meaningful relationships here at MACU, relationships that help us in the classroom and on the court and on the field, in chapel, and in life. You're going to go out and do great things for God. And I hope that you all know that you are always welcome here at home, that you're always a part of the MacU family, and that wherever you go, you'll have friendships that will last for a lifetime. Our speaker uh, tomorrow is Peter Greer. He's going to be uh, speaking to our commencement ceremony. I met Peter the very first weekend. I was a student at Messiah College 30 years ago this fall. We've been lifelong friends. Now, we don't get to see each other very often. We ad admire one another from a distance. I see what he's doing. We'll give a call or a text or an email once in a while. But I look back to some of the friendships that were formed in college and how they've truly transformed my life. That's what's happening to you here today in this experience, is that you're continuing to build relationships that will last for a lifetime. Friends that you'll go back to pray with, to cry with, to laugh with, to share new memories and to make memories. And I just know that this is going to be an experience, uh, your time here at MacU, uh, that is transformative for each and every one of you. We're so incredibly proud of you. As we close today, I just want to offer a word of prayer for you. I, ho I hope you have a wonderful summer. I know some of you have a few presentations and projects and tests left to do, but you're close. Finish hard. Finish well. It's going to be a great summer. For those of you who are coming back in the fall, we can't wait to see you. We've got great things planned. We're going to have lots of a fun things to celebrate this fall. We're going to have a great time with a homecoming celebration. We're going to celebrate our 70th anniversary. We have a few more projects on campus that we'll be working on over the summer. Uh, for those of you who are going out to a new job or to a new uh, program, uh, we just pray God's blessings upon you. Can't wait to welcome you home. So thanks for being here this morning. Let's close with a word of prayer. Almighty God, we have come to this place uh, for this academic year to learn, to grow, to study, to ch be changed from the inside out and to become the persons that you have created us to be. We're here to be prepared for a lifetime of service in the church and in education, in nonprofits, in businesses, in government and in the community. And we just pray that you would use these experiences, but even more so the relationships that we've built to prepare us for a lifetime of service, serving you and serving others making a difference in the communities where we live. Oh God, I pray your blessing of protection over each and every student, that as they go out this summer to serve in camp teams and to, to work, to uh, spend time with family and to make memories, that you'll just allow them not only to have a wonderful time, but to be safe and secure. I pray that you'll pour out your Holy Spirit upon them, 
that our students will continue to grow deeply in their faith, that they'd be drawn closer to you each and every day and drawn closer to one another. And God, I pray that in all the things that we say and all the things that we do, we will bring honor and glory to your name. For it is in the mighty name of Jesus that we pray. And all God's people said, amen. Have a great summer. We look forward to celebrating commencement tomorrow. It's going to be a great weekend. Go in peace. God bless. Save the part the sea, so I know it's what.